Yeah, so the anti-fingerprint one, that was kind of a fun one. It's, it's kind of rare where you go from, this might come as a surprise, but when you go from pure hypothetical theory all the way to product and you successfully predict what you were going to do, nine times out of ten, it's you have a hypothesis and then through testing and multiple cycles of failure, honestly, is really what it is, but you learn every time and then you keep making modifications. That one actually didn't work that way. We came up with a kind of a, a theory or hypothesis um, I should say, and then turned out to be exactly right, which just, that just never happens. So we used a combination of a bunch of different things. It was optics, physics, there was a little quantum mechanics in there, <laughs> and surface chemistry. And the, 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 the thing that's hard about it is that the human eye is fantastic at pattern recognition. So when you have a, a fingerprint on a surface, the eye can pick it out amazingly. That's how we evolved them to, to hunt and catch prey. This, that's, that's the optical system in humans is amazing. So tricking that is pretty difficult. So what we, at the end, what we ended up discovering was that we had to use a combination of texture as well as a coating that has a bit of, a, bit of optical trickery in it, as well as surface chemistry to get the fingerprints to wet out in just the right way that would make it more difficult to detect.